Today, Qualcomm is announcing the Snapdragon X, pronounced X, not 10, series, which is set to be its new tier of chips based on its custom Orion CPU cores. Right now, Snapdragon X is for laptops, and it's aimed at competing with Apple's own custom chips. The custom silicon game isn't an easy one to be a part of. Qualcomm acquired Nuvia to do it, and what will probably be called the Snapdragon X Gen 1 will be its first custom 64-bit ARM processor. The product will live alongside the existing Snapdragon compute platform tiers, rather than replacing them. It's pretty safe to say that if the Snapdragon 8 CX was competing with an Intel Core i5, which was always the claim, then the Snapdragon X series would aim to compete with a Core i9. Prior to this, the company was relying on core designs from ARM, such as Cortex-X2 and such. Qualcomm made tweaks to these designs and called them Cryo, but they were still very much Cortex cores. Now, with an architecture license, the firm can build its chips from the ground up. All it needs to do is follow the same instruction set. This opens new doors for Qualcomm, allowing it to develop its socks in the same way that Apple does. Indeed, both MediaTek and Samsung license core designs from ARM, so there's a significant competitive advantage to be had here. Unfortunately, that's still all that we know. Those custom CPU cores are called Orion, and that name was unveiled at Snapdragon Summit last year. Snapdragon X is also just a name unveiling. We'll find out about the product in all its glory at Snapdragon Summit in a few weeks. This year's announcement is set to be a big bang windows on ARM launch, with ARM chips showing up in some of the best laptops for the first time. Moreover, this is set to be the first Snapdragon Summit where the computing chipset is going to take center stage, with the mobile chipset taking a bit of a backseat.